Welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be setting up a biped rig using my biped rig creator Max script. For this tutorial, I'll be using a character made with Reillusions Character Creator 3. After importing my character, if they are in a T pose, I bend the arms and legs slightly. Here, I am bending the knees 20 degrees, the feet in the opposite direction by 20 degrees, and then the elbows. The reason for this will come into play later when aligning the biped. Next, we need to define which bones of our rig match up to the biped's bones. You can do this by left clicking an undefined slot in the window after selecting the bone of the original rig you want to correspond to the biped bone. This process can be rather tedious, so a wizard was created to help. Click the Populate Bone Wizard button to open a pop-up, which will list the current biped bone we are defining and the list of available choices. If you left-click a choice, this is assigned to the corresponding biped bone. If you want to skip to the children of an available choice without assigning it, just right-click that choice. Note, finger 0 of the biped is the thumb. Finger 1 is the index finger, finger 2 is the middle finger, finger 3 is the ring finger, and finger 4 is the pinky. After populating your bones, if you notice one is incorrect, in this case, cc underscore base underscore l underscore toe base shared should just be cc underscore base underscore l underscore toe base. You can make that change quickly. After assigning the bones, some, all with the suffix noob, will be missing. If you click the Setup Helpers button, several gizmos will align to the various noob locations and populate the bone lists. 
Note, you do not have to use these if the rig already has nubs for the fingers, toes, and head. Once the setup is complete, you can click the Build Biped button to create a biped that should be scaled to match your character exactly. Finally, you can click Align to Biped. We bent the limbs earlier so that this step works properly. If the limbs are perfectly straight, the limbs may align backwards. Once you do this, you may notice that some bones, in this case, the collar bones, are not aligned properly. I am unsure why this happens. However, if you exit figure mode and align, the collar bones then align properly. However, your fingers may not. To fix this, you may have to enter, exit, and re-enter figure mode and align several times. Once you are happy with the alignment, you can do any additional fine tuning such as rotating the biped toes to point out straight like I do. Once the rig is aligned properly, Press the Create Constraints button. This creates a set of position and orientation constraints between your original rig and the biped. The original rig is now controlled by the original biped rig. Note the helper gizmos will disappear when we close the window. We can now load .bip files and animate our character.
Additionally, you can save and load rig data. This is useful if you have multiple rigs of different sizes but the same general structure. This data is a simple text file with a list of the names of the different bones in the scene. Thanks for watching.